Hi friends, my name is Jenna. I'm a traveling aesthetic nurse who practically lives out of a suitcase. Travel with me to a city likely not on your radar. This adorable little town is a hub of culture waiting to be uncovered. Come travel with me. a little bit more. There's no place to get food yet, but I'm starving. So I might try to like search out maybe a vending machine or something. Um, there's literally nobody here. I expected a lot more because it's a busy airport. Um, but I guess it's early enough. I think it's like 6.20, 6.28 um, in the morning. So I guess maybe they don't have early flights here. I don't know. But um, for a little bit. I am finally in Iowa. I just got to the bathroom so I can change into something a little warmer than sweatpants and a sweatshirt um, and then I am gonna go grab my rental car and then be off um, it is currently nine o'clock which is way earlier than I thought I was gonna be here our plane left early so we were supposed to be here at 9 55 I'm not sure if anything that I had in mind for today is open yet but I'll see what I can do um, I'm not hungry yet because I just had chilies, so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> My first stop of the day was New Bohemia, a Czech village. There's a lot to do here, but I decided to visit New Bo City Market, which is basically like a shared space for local Czech vendors. coffee and some of the most yummy pizza ever. I was trying to go see the um, studio of Grant Wood, who is the American Gothic artist who did like the, the couple with the farm thingy. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's closed for the winter and it's not opening until April. So I'm very sad because that's like a highlight of Cedar Rapids because that is where the artist came from. Um, but I am on my way to go see the art museum instead and I stopped on the side of the road because I saw this really awesome mural and I just have to go take a picture really quick so I'll show you guys right now. This street piece honored healthcare workers during the pandemic and it honestly made me a bit emotional. I then went down the street to the Cedar Rapids Museum of Art. This museum was really interesting because it had so many recognizable pieces. like an hour before check-in and there's not really much else I wanted to do out here um, I was hoping that the studio would be open and I wouldn't have this issue but now now I am being forced to go to a Target because that's how I spend the most time and also the most money hi guys it is a few days later I am just finishing up my last shift of work and I am 
ready to eat something yummy. I am at the Edison Pub and Eatery. I'm about to go in. It is St. Patrick's Day. I've never been one to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, even though I'm Irish. Um, and I feel like that needs to change because Cedar Rapids is really big on St. Patrick's Day. I was really hoping to see the St. Patty's Day Parade, but it was a few days ago before I was here, so I'm really disappointed I missed that. Um, but to make up for it, I'm going to an Irish pub. Hi friends, so I just finished eating at the Edison. It was so delicious. They ran out of all of their um, St. Patrick's Day specials though, so that was kind of sad. But I am getting ready to head out tomorrow morning. My flight was supposed to leave at 2.30, but I got it changed to 7 in the morning, which is still really early, but I'd rather be home at a decent hour than, um, than not because I have another trip coming up pretty soon here too. I just need to rest at home for a little while, so. I will see you guys. <laughs> the seat on my plane ride home was really interesting. Right up there with the pilots and the attendants. That is all for now, y'all. So be sure to like and subscribe as there's a lot of fresh new content coming your way soon.